I consent to being interviewed and recorded. Um, my name is Carol Brown. I'm the B-Shift Battalion Chief for Boulder Fire Rescue. We work a 4896, which means we're on for 48 hours and then we're off for 96 hours. And that's just to provide full coverage for yeah. the city 24-7. I worked for Boulder for 27 years. I'm the shift commander, so I run the operations of the city, mm -hmm. the field operations. So right now is October, and I think we're at either 12,000 or 13,000 calls for the year. I would say everybody on my shift is coworkers, so yeah. we need 24 to run the engines. Okay. Right, three on an engine, eight engines. It's yeah. all job description. Okay. So it doesn't matter. We all went to the same academy. Good. We all passed the same academy. We all had the same yeah. performance standards that we had to complete and accomplish before we were a firefighter. Yeah. Once I put on my gear, <clears throat> to anybody else, we all look the same. Yeah. If I make a mistake, all of the women in the fire service are idiots. Okay, if a guy makes a mistake, mm -hmm. he's an idiot. And so I'm also the vice president of iWomen, which is Women in Emergency and Fire, or fire and Emergency Services um, International Organization. And that's one of the things that they always say. It's like, yeah, but they lump me with every other woman. So I can't make a mistake mm -hmm. because now every woman in the fire service, it doesn't matter if they're here in Colorado or if they're in England, they're all idiots because I made that mistake. And that's an awful lot of pressure to put not on a gender, but on an individual. Yeah. So when I started, there was three of us in the academy, there was 13 women on the job in Boulder um, out of 85 total firefighters. Boulder hired its, their first women, woman in, two of them, women, in 1978. Um, yes, I was the first female battalion chief for the city of Boulder. You have 70 people to choose from, I have 12. Mm -hmm. The only thing, we have two things in common. One, we're female, and two, we work for the Boulder Fire Department. Mm -hmm. How we raise children and the language we use, I think language has a lot to do with it. 9-11 um, had a lot to do with it. Um, we went from being firefighters to being firemen overnight. So it set the fire service back 30 or 40 years in integrating. If you think about language, gender-neutral language is in every profession. Mm -hmm. Except the firemen. Ten years ago was at about 6.8% women. Today's stats, when they don't include EMS workers from private ambulance companies, is at 3.5%. So in ten years, we've lost half of... So it's going backwards. So yeah. why? Um, part of it, I think, is language. Part of it, I think, is on the fault of media and part of it is on the fault of the fire service for who we hire. If we hire people that say, I want to be a fireman, because that's what they saw on TV when they were three or four or five or eight, um, we perpetuate a culture of non-inclusivity and bullying and the fat old white guy, right? You go to a conference and it's white guys. Nor will any man go, I totally get what it's like to be a woman in the fire service. Mm -hmm. no. You cannot. I get it. I'm like, what do you get? And he goes, I found a man. I just wanted to talk to another guy. That's how it is for you every day. So, yeah. But I think um, as far as the, the gender difference, I think there's so much underlying in it. I mean, there's... There's culture, and there's how you were raised, and there's male brain and female brain, and there's the emotional aspects um, yeah. of it. I never thought I was entering a male-dominated field. That didn't really cross my mind. Yeah. It was, this was the job, mm -hmm. and this is what I wanted to do. Um, and that would be my advice. Yeah. Um, whether you say, follow your heart, find something you love, follow your bliss, whatever the language is that you use, figure out what makes you happy.